Hi there, thanks for tuning in. We're going to have a look at how we can use Excel in an educational context, so how it can help teachers and help teachers to use data more effectively. Let's take a look at what we've got here. We're using uh, what I would describe as a process tracker, and in a nutshell, it allows you to log a target grade for each student, to log an actual grade for each student, and then to understand the difference, so the difference between the target and the actuals, and to allow you to measure student performance. Hopefully it does this in, uh, in, in, in a user-friendly way and it's going to allow you to understand data really well and to kind of get a feel for the bigger picture, understand how your students are performing. Um, it's a three-part series and the first part we're going to have a look at how we use uh, data tables and VLOOKUP uh, with this. In the second part we're going to have a look at uh, creating drop-down menus to allow you to select data really quickly. In the third part we're going to have a look at the COUNTIF formula and how you generate charts and summary information for this kind of thing. And finally, make sure you download the file from our website and work along with us. Uh, it's really important that you uh, practice the skill yourself. Okay, with that said, let's get into it. So make sure you've downloaded the file. This is what we're looking at creating. We have a list of students here and we're saying that we have four different assessment points. And at each assessment point, um, we can have a target grade for a student and a natural grade. And we want to understand the difference between those two. So we want to understand how students are performing and how the class is performing as a whole. In this first video, we're going to take a look at how we can treat grades that are letters or grades that aren't numbers, how we can convert those into numbers in order to measure uh, the difference between targets and actuals. So if that doesn't make sense so far, don't worry, it will become clear as we go along. To help us, we're going to use an Excel formula called VLOOKUP, and it might be that you've never met this formula before, but that's absolutely fine. We're going to go through it step by step in this video. So how does VLOOKUP work? Well, we want to convert a letter into a number. And we're going to do this using um, a grades table. So the first thing we have to do is create a table that contains all of our grades in one column and then the value that we're going to convert those grades into in a second column. So that's the first thing we're going to do. And in our practice file, if you go to um, the sheet called practice uh, number two grades table, you can enter your grades in there and the value that you want to allocate to each grade. So um, the better the, the grade, the higher the value you want to allocate. So I'm going to do that quickly. I'm going to keep it really simple, uh, A, B, C, D. And the highest grade, A, is going to have the highest point value. So four points, three points, two points, and one point. So in its simplest form, that's the grades table. I've only got four grades. Uh, you could have uh, four, 40, 400, however many you need. Now the next step is we're going to give this grades table a name and that's going to help Excel to understand where it is. So let's do that quickly. We're going to click and hold and select the area of the table. Then we're going to go up to the top left hand corner here, which is the name box. We're going to click in it and then we're going to enter a name for our table. So let's try to make it something informative, something that helps us understand uh, what it is. So I'm going to call it grades table. These names have to be all one word. So grades table is fine. And then I can just hit uh, enter and we can see that grades table is there. To check that we've created that name, we can, we can go back up, back up to the name box and just click and you'll see that grades table is there. So that's the first step. We've inputted the grades and created our grades table. Okay, the next step, we're gonna go back to our student table sheet uh, in the practice file. And you can see this is the same as the example I showed you at the start, but with none of the information in. So this is great for you to use as practice. Now, I'm going to put um, some, students, some student grades in these cells. And all I want Excel to do at this stage is to convert these grades into numbers. So we've already made a grades table with letters and numbers. I want Excel to recognize which number applies to that grade. So here we have a grade A and we're going to use VLOOKUP to uh, make Excel tell us the value of that grade A, which should be four points. So let's start the formula. As usual, we start with equals and then VLOOKUP. And then VLOOKUP uh, consists of four component, components. The lookup value 
So that uh, is the cell that contains the piece of data we're, we're interested in. And then the table, array, the table array is the table that we're looking at. The column index is the column in the table that uh, contains the value we want to return. And then the range lookup we always set to false, in this case anyway. So our lookup value is here. So we just click on that. Then we're going to hit the comma key. And now we want our table array. So this is where the name we created for our grades table comes in useful. So rather than having to go back to that sheet, we can simply type in the name of our table, which was grades table, uh, click on it here, double click, and that's gone into our formula. Okay, nice and easy. The third component we're looking at is the column in, uh, in our table. We want to use the second column because the second column contains the values that we're looking at. So we just put a number to that and a comma. The final component, um, we want to tell Excel we're looking for an exact match. So we're saying the data, in this case, the grade definitely appears in the table so that it can match it up nice and easy. That means we set this to false. So we can just type that in, close the brackets, and that's our VLOOKUP formula. So let's see if it works. Okay, seems to be working well. Um, so it's saying that A equates to four points. We can go back to our grades table and we can see that A is there and A does equate to four points. Seems to work well. As always, we test our formulae. So let's change this to, uh, to a B. And as we can see, the, um, the value there is updating. So seems to be working well. Okay, so this is good. So we've got Excel to convert uh, the grade into uh, a value, which is great. Now we want to actually find the difference between the actual grade and the target grade. We're going to do that by implementing two VLOOKUP formulae in the same cell. The first VLOOKUP formula refers to the target, and the second VLOOKUP formula refers to the actual grade. So we can double click in our cell that contains the formula. We're just going to extend this uh, for the time being anyway. And I'm going to do that by selecting this part of the formula and copying, copying and pasting it across. So I'm using the Control C shortcut. Then I double click, I click back in the formula editor and I'm going to use Control V to paste that back in. Now that puts us pretty close uh, to where we want to be. What we've done there is we've repeated uh, the same formula and I'm gonna just hit enter so that this formula uh, becomes live. And you can see it's returned a value of zero. That's because we've asked it to take um, the value that the target grade of C equates to and to uh, subtract from that the same value. So effectively it's doing um, two minus two there which equals zero. So we're almost there. All we have to do is change one of the target cells um, to the actual grade rather than the target grade. So to do that, I've gone back into the formula editor and just clicked here on D11. And I'm going to change this to E11. And we can see that uh, Excel has highlighted the E11 cell to tell that it's understood what we want there. Then hit enter. Okay, and we now have a difference of one. So what's that saying to us? Well, Excel has looked at uh, D, uh, column D, and converted the C uh, into the points value, which is two. Then it's looked at column E and converted the B into a points value, which is three. And then it has um, deducted or subtracted the target grade from the actual grade. So it's done three minus two equals one, okay? So that's what we're looking for. That tells us the difference between the target grade and the actual grade. And in this case, the actual grade is exceeding the target grade. So it's giving us a value of one to show that this student is one level above expectation. So this is looking good. As always, we test our formulae. So I'm going to try putting in a target grade of D and then we're gonna see what happens. Okay, so now the student is two grades above. So uh, it's return of difference of two. So what happens when we change this to B? It's return of difference of naught. If we change this to A, it's return of difference of minus one. And, and now that's because the student is, um, the actual grade is below uh, what is expected of, of that student. Therefore, it's returned a negative number. Okay. 
uh, we can carry on populating uh, our table. What I'm going to do is just um, take the data that I have in the, uh, the example at the start. I'm going to copy that across using Control Z, Control C, and Control V. And then I'm going to click on the cell that contains the formula and double click in the bottom right hand corner to auto fill down. So that's a nice Excel shortcut that's going to save us some time. It's very simply going to auto fill down. And as we can see, we've got some errors here. So I just have to understand exactly what's happened here. Okay. Okay, good. Now this is because we can see uh, E is here. Now E doesn't appear in our grades table. Uh, e is not there. Therefore, Excel has, turned an, has returned an error because it, it doesn't know uh, where E is. So we have to make sure only A to D appear here. So I'm going to change these um, C's, uh, change the E's to B's and just make sure all, all of the letters are between um, A and D. And then we should be good to go. Okay, yes. Now because uh, all of the data is between A and D, so all of that data is in our grades table, um, there are no errors and it's already looking really good. I've also implemented some conditional formatting here. Uh, to allow us to understand from the color uh, how well that student is performing. So by using the color, it's going to help us to, to reinforce the meaning and help us understand at a glance what's going on. To do that, you just select the area where you want to apply the conditional formatting. Go to Home in the top left, Conditional Formatting. And Excel 2013 has some really nice conditional formatting options that are going to save us loads of time. I like the color scales option, so we just go to color scales and then click on the color scales option there. And as we can see, uh, the higher the value, um, the higher, well, the higher values have a green color, the medium values have an amber color, and the, the lower values have a red color. So already we've got a really nice visual representation of what's going on. Okay, so that's the first step um, in this series of three videos. And as you can see, using VLOOKUP and uh, our, our grades table, we've been able to create a really nice representation of how this cohort of students is performing. Next, we're going to look at drop-down menus and look at accelerating the process of data input and also at uh, producing some summary information. So join me on the next video. See you then.